What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got what do you say? Another great day of tech news. And we've got a brand new story coming out about Apple as well. So we get some Samsung stuff and an Apple story. So why don't we start it off with the Apple story first. And this is technology that I'm really, really, really excited about. Of course, I love my folding phones and, and the potential of where that ends up going with rollables and all that kind of technology. But the next thing that I absolutely am so excited about is virtual reality, augmented reality and mixed reality. And it looks like Apple's headset that they're gonna be coming out for augmented reality and mixed reality is coming out super soon. Now the story's coming from Min Chi Ku, but I pulled it from Front Page Tech. They're saying that Apple's VR, AR headset, which is virtual reality, augmented reality headset is coming in January and they released the pricing as well. And the pricing, and that's supposed to be what it's gonna look like as well. Like, that's the render of potentially what it's going to look like, which doesn't look all that bad. It looks like you just slap it on, you're good, just kind of like you would with the MetaQuest 2 headset. Now to add on to this, pricing is absolutely ridiculous. Pricing is potentially coming in at at least $2,000, maybe $2,500, maybe somewhere beyond those prices, which at that point, it does create a niche, pro niche, niche, I'm gonna say niche, niche product most people aren't going to buy it and they don't think they expect that either. It looks like they're only going to make about 1.5 million of these. And that's their targeted number of making and that's worldwide. I don't know. It, it's, it, I, I mean, it's, it's heavy in terms of it takes a lot of money out of your bank account, but that's a very exciting product, at least in my eyes. And I can't wait to see what Apple does it with it. And if Apple does something with this, you can expect tons of other companies are gonna do this as well. There already are a few companies that have some big headsets uh, out there. I think, is it v, uh, Vivo, V, Vive? Vive, I think, makes one. Uh, then you've got the uh, Oculus. Oh, no, it's not even Oculus anymore. It's called Meta, which is Facebook. Uh, and then if Apple does, Samsung had one back in the day. I can see them jumping back into this. So very exciting stuff. Expect more companies and more stuff to come out for this in the next one to five years. Tons and tons of stuff. Next up is the actual specs for the Galaxy Z Flip 4. This is coming from WinFuture. I'll link it down below if you want to check out the full article. But let's just talk about these specs and we know most of these but i thought i'd just run through it because as we're getting we're trickling down to the amount of information that's not been leaked out and this is one of them so uh android 12 will come on on it uh one ui it should be 4.1.1 it doesn't say here but i've seen i've seen that in other places 6.7 inch display it's gonna have the uh 2640 by 1080 resolution 425 pixels per inch 120 hertz uh, refresh rate on there. The outside display, we heard it was gonna be 2.1 inches. It's actually only gonna be 1.9, which matches what it had in the previous generations. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. You can also expect um, higher amounts of storage on that as well, so don't get locked in that it's only gonna be 128. It should be 256 and 512 as well. Main cameras, you're gonna have a dual camera setup, 12 megapixel and 12 megapixel. And then the front camera will be a 10 megapixel. You're gonna have a fingerprint sensor. You'll have uh, the face recognition, OTG, and then IPX8. So no, uh, no dust resistance, but you will have water resistance. You can see the different sensors that are in there, nothing that really stands out that hasn't been in previous generations. It'll have GPS and all those other satellites. Uh, SIM cards, it'll be a nano SIM connection, 5G, Bluetooth, USB-C, NFC, WLAN, AC for Wi-Fi. Battery pack, 3,700 milliamp battery with fast charging. Should only be at 25 watts. Doesn't say here, but yeah, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. 187 grams in weight, and it should start off at 1099 euros. So you're probably looking at about a $100 price increase versus last year. And then, why not? Galaxy Z Fold 4 full specs. Let's talk about that. Again, Android 12, One UI, 7.6 inch foldable display on the uh, inside with a 2176 by 1812 pixels uh, uh, screen resolution, 374 pixels per inch, 120 hertz refresh rate with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. Additional display will be Infinity O, so you'll see that camera on top of the display with a resolution of 2316 by 904. 
Again, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor, 12 gigs of RAM with either 256, 512, or one terabyte of storage. You're gonna have a triple camera setup with 50 megapixels, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 10 megapixel telephoto. All of those, it doesn't, yeah, they'll have optical, optical image stabilization. The ultra wide doesn't look like it has OIS, which I guess is normal. 10 megapixel front camera on there with, I don't see OIS in there either, interesting. The miscellaneous, you're looking at fingerprint sensor, face recognition, OTG, IPX8, which means again, no dust resistance, you will get water resistance, and S Pen will be optional. The sensors are the acceleration uh, acceleration monitor, uh, gyroscope, light sensor, proximity sensor, GPS, eSIM and nano SIM, 5G, Bluetooth 5.2, WLAN, NFC, AX for the Wi-Fi, so it'll have the fastest Wi-Fi that's available, USB Type-C, 4400 milliamp battery, 25 watt fast charging, 15 watt wireless charging. You see the dimensions there. The weight is 254 grams and the price 1799 euros, which equates out to 700, probably 1799 in American dollars as well. So that's the full look out of this. Remember, we're only a couple days away now from the event. If you haven't taken advantage of the pre-order reservation, it's linked in the description down below. And I wanna reiterate, if you guys are gonna buy the phone, even if you did the reservation and all that, if you wanna support my channel and you're gonna buy the phone anyway, have it be the Flip 4 or the Fold 4, or any Samsung device for that matter, I'll have a link down below that you can click on and buy it and I get a little kickback from it from uh, the affiliate company. And again, it just helps out what I do and shows your appreciation for the news and stuff that I do on a daily basis all throughout the year. So yeah, that's what we're looking at so far. What do you think's the most impressive spec on the Flip 4 and the Fold 4? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road.